Rising images here. Beachgoers got the surprise yesterday when a marlin swam right in and beached itself in front of a crowd of spectators in Waikiki. Ocean Safety says nobody was injured. Not clear why the fish chose to swim on shore. Bryce Moore reports. Uh, yeah, it's nothing like I've ever seen before. Um, I know marlins are deep in the ocean, so seeing one on the coast, it's it was pretty like yeah, it was, it was just eye-opening to see that. Emilio Mendoza had no idea his visit back home on Oahu would lead to an experience like this. People, you know, spend hours trying to catch those type of fish, and then seeing a beach on Waikiki with hundreds and thousands of people in the water was just kind of just gnarly to see that. The six to eight foot marlin was first spotted in the surf lineup around 2 p.m. Thursday, and after being reported to ocean safety lifeguards, wasn't expected to get any closer to shore. We were like, we're never going to see it again. Look, look how far the lineup is, you know. Like, okay, it's, you know, once in a blue moon kind of thing. And then we're sitting there, and then you see the big shadow come through, and I'm like, huh, there it is. Now, speaking to Ocean Safety, they say their job isn't to tow beach fish back out to sea. It's to keep the people on shore and in the water safe. At that time, we treat it like any other um, big fish that would come in and and just keep the people away from any type of injury that could potentially happen with such a big animal. The job is to keep people safe, not the fish. Yes. And with the weapon Marlins boast, there was concern for safety. It's so sharp and it has so much power. A fish like that size is all muscle. And with it in the water near all these people floating on floaties, we had no clue what to expect. The Hawaii Institute of Marine Biology says open ocean fishes like tuna and marlin do occasionally get disoriented and strand themselves. But there's no definitive reason why, and the lifeguards did not spot any sharks in the area yesterday. As far as what happened to the Waikiki marlin? And some of the local boys around here were well prepared to address the situation and took care of it. I don't know what they did with it from there, but, you know, I guess the locals took it home for sashimi or for, you know, some hibachi grilling. I don't know. Bryce Moore, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.